Let's say that someone has shared a Google Calendar with you and you'd like to figure out how to copy the events from that calendar into your own calendar. Let me show you how to do that. So first of all, this is an email where um, I've shared a calendar with my other Google account. So I'm going to click add this calendar. So first thing you need to do is to find the email where uh, they have shared the calendar with you. Okay, so it looks something like this. It'll be their email address and it has, it'll say, has shared a calendar with you. That's the subject line. And, uh, and you have to click on add this calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then it says, do you want to add the calendar? Now I have named the calendar testing one, two, three, but the calendar name you're, you're getting is probably more, uh, official than that. So testing one, two, three. I'm going to click add. All right. So the calendar has been added. Now I don't see any events. The reason is because the, the calendar events are probably in the future. So let me go ahead and, and, uh, you know, what I can do is I can basically, I can see that the testing one, two, three calendar has now been added. It, I could actually click on the three dots and just say, um, display this only. So I'm going to do, go ahead and do that now. Display this only. I still don't see any events, but the simplest way of doing it is to click on week and then select month or schedule. So I'm going to click on select month instead. And by doing that, I can easily scroll down to future, future, you know, right now I'm recording this in, in December, but the next month, you know, you guys can see there's already a couple of events coming up, uh, from this calendar because I'm only displaying this calendar. This only this calendar is checked. I can see the following month. There are also these meetings. All right. So let me go ahead and go to this week by clicking on the date. I actually prefer seeing it the week view. So I'm going to select week view here. Okay. So I can see that, uh, there are two meetings. And one is called the best meeting ever. <laughs> and then the other one is called so-so meeting. All right. So I think I'm going to go to the best meeting ever, right? So the way I recommend managing another calendar is rather than, uh, you know, basically choosing the events you want to go to and copying it to your own calendar. My own calendar, I've called sample calendar. So let's just, let's just do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this meeting from the calendar that has been shared with me because I want to attend the best meeting ever. And then I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to click on copy to sample calendar. Sample calendar is actually my private calendar. Okay. Copy to sample calendar. Let me go ahead and do that now. Now notice what happens. The meeting that was shared with me was meeting every single week. But let's say that I'm not available to meet every week and I just want to, I just want to add specific meetings. So I'm just going to select instead of weekly on Monday, I'm going to select does not repeat, does not repeat because I just want to make sure I go to that meeting. If there are any, uh, zoom information, it'll be added here in location. The, the other person would have added it already in there and there may be descriptions talking about the, how great the meeting is. So just be sure to look for those uh, location and description areas should be, you know, sometimes they are filled in by the other person. So does not repeat. Okay. I'm going to click on, click on save now. All right. So you can see that what it does is it has turned on my sample calendar. Uh, now what's confusing is that these two are different colors. So I'm just going to uh, recolor my own calendar here. This is my, my own calendar called the sample calendar. Okay. So basically now I can turn off the other calendar from the view to hide it from view so I don't get so much clutter. So I can un uncheck this one. And this meeting is still here for me. Does that make sense? And if there's any information uh, in terms of the Zoom information and description, those will be here. Now, let me also um, show you that if I wanted to add uh, all of the uh, recurring meetings, I could do that and, and still delete the ones I don't want. So let's say, for example, the so-so meeting, I'm going to go. And the other way of copying it is by right clicking. Let me try this and see if this works. Okay. Actually, um, yes. Okay. So right clicking, uh, or on a Mac, it's control click. Okay. And actually that, that's, I'm sorry, that doesn't work. So instead of, so we, we do have to click on the meeting itself and click on the three dots and click uh, copy to sample calendar. And let's say I want to just repeat this. Okay. Just like the meeting organizer has set it on repeat. I'm going to go and repeat this. Now, I don't know why I would 
ever go to a meeting called so-so meeting. But let's say I, let's say I wanted to give them the courtesy. I'll, I'll, I'll go to these, this meeting every now and then. Uh, now let's say I'm, I'm okay going to this particular day. Um, and I'm, again, I'm going to turn off the testing one, two, three so that it's less cluttered. Now I'm only looking at my own sample calendar. So I'm going to go to the next week. And let's say that I don't want to go to, um, I don't want to go to this week, uh, anymore. Uh, let's say I want to go to these two weeks. Okay. December 3rd and December 10th. But let's say starting at December 17th, I don't want to go to any more meetings, the social meeting. I can click here, click on delete, and I can click this and following events and click OK. Now that's been removed from my calendar. But if I turned on that testing one, two, three calendar that was shared with me, it's still there and I can still copy it to my calendar, uh, if I wanted to in the future. Okay. So I hope this is helpful. And if you have any questions or any other tips for, you know, managing Google Calendar when others share it with you, go ahead and comment below. Thanks a lot.